Hey everyone, welcome back. Did you know that out of every 10 people around eight will experience lower back pain at some point in their lives? Yes, it's that common. Lower back pain can come from all sorts of reasons, but research has found a common link. Many people with lower back pain have issues with lower back strength and neuromuscular control. The good news is strengthening and improving the coordination of your lower back can help prevent and reduce that pain. Even if you're a regular at the gym, you might still have this lower back imbalance. This often happens because many workout routines don't include exercises that specifically target the lower back. By adding these exercises to your routine, you can help prevent and reduce lower back pain and avoid developing weaknesses or imbalances over time. But here's the catch. A lot of people try to strengthen their lower back the wrong way. They pick the wrong exercises or perform them incorrectly, which can actually make things worse. Take the popular Superman exercise, for example. While it does engage the lower back muscles, research by Dr. Stuart McGill at the University of Waterloo shows it also creates a massive amount of spinal compression, about 6,000 newtons. Compare that to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health's recommended limit of 3,300 newtons, and you can see how this exercise might do more harm than good. So let's clear things up. I'm going to show you how to properly and safely strengthen your lower back with a full routine that you can start right away. Before we dive into lower back specific exercises, let's talk about two compound exercises that should form the core of your lower back training. All right, let's dive into two of the best exercises for your lower back, deadlifts and squats. These powerhouse moves should be a staple in your weekly workout routine, and here's why. Both deadlifts and squats are phenomenal for activating your lower back muscles. Multiple studies have shown that these exercises elicit very high activity in the lower back, making them incredibly effective for building strength and hypertrophy. Plus, they're easy to overload with weight, which means you can continue challenging your lower back muscles over time to keep getting stronger. When you perform a deadlift, you're engaging not just your lower back, but your entire posterior chain, including your glutes and hamstrings. It's a full body workout that primarily targets your lower back muscles, helping them grow stronger and more resilient. Similarly, squats engage your lower back, especially when you go heavy. While they're primarily known for building powerful legs and glutes, the lower back plays a crucial role in stabilizing your body during the lift, providing significant stimulus to the muscles in that area. However, there are a few issues that can prevent these exercises from fully addressing lower back weaknesses. First is that not everyone does them. Let's be real, not everyone includes squats and deadlifts in their routines. Some might avoid them due to their complexity or fear of injury. Another one is you're probably not lifting heavy enough. Even those who do perform these exercises often don't lift heavy enough to sufficiently challenge their lower back muscles. The heavier you go, the more activation you get, but it's common for people to stay in their comfort zones with lighter weights. And we also have improper pelvic stabilization. When performing these exercises, it's crucial to stabilize your pelvis properly. Without this stabilization, your stronger hamstrings and glutes might take over, doing most of the work and leaving your lower back understimulated. This can lead to less strengthening of the lower back muscles, despite performing the exercises. So remember, when you come back up from a squat or deadlift, you should be focusing on your posture by straightening your back and flexing your hips and pelvis back into place before going on to another rep. Now, to make sure your lower back is getting the attention it needs, you should incorporate a couple of specific lower back exercises into your routine. This way, you ensure that you're not only building overall strength with squats and deadlifts, but also directly targeting and strengthening your lower back muscles. By addressing these common pitfalls and adding targeted lower back exercises, you can build a well-rounded, strong, and resilient lower back. Now let's talk about back extensions, one of my favorite exercises for really targeting and strengthening the lower back. Back extensions are fantastic because they stabilize the pelvis, allowing your lower back to be activated and strengthened much more effectively than many other exercises. The research backs this up, showing that back extensions consistently provide great results for lower back strength. Despite their effectiveness, a lot of people don't perform back extensions correctly, which can lead to more problems instead of solving them. Here's how to do them right. Now let's go over the correct way to perform back extensions. I'm going to show you how to do this on a glute ham raise, but the same tips apply to the Roman chair back extension as well. Set up correctly, position your pelvis at the top of the pad or just past it. This positioning is crucial to ensure your lower back is engaged properly. Maintain a neutral spine. As you lower yourself down to the bottom position, keep your spine neutral. This means no rounding or arching of the back. Use your lower back muscles. Ascend back up using your lower back muscles until your torso is in line with your legs. Avoid going past this point into hyperextension as this increases spinal compression and can cause injury. Keep your spine neutral throughout the movement and stop before you go into hyperextension. This prevents excessive spinal compression 
and helps maintain proper form. One common mistake is positioning the pad too far forward, which causes your back to excessively round as you descend. Make sure the pad is positioned correctly to avoid this issue. Start with a rep range of 8 to 15 reps using just your body weight. As your lower back gets stronger and you can easily perform 15 reps, you can start to overload the movement by holding a weight or dumbbells while you perform the exercise. Incorporate these tips to make sure you're getting the most out of your back extensions and effectively strengthening your lower back. Let's talk about the bird dog exercise. It's essential for challenging your stability and targeting targeting specific muscles that stabilize your lower back, like the multifidus. Research from the Australian Journal of Physiotherapy highlights the importance of this kind of stability training. Even people with strong backs often lack proper coordination and stability, which the bird dog can help improve. Not only does the bird dog activate your lower back stabilizers effectively, but it also does so with minimal spinal compression. Dr. Stuart McGill's research found that the bird dog only exerts about 2,000 newtons of force on the lower back, compared to the 6,000 newtons from the Superman exercise. This is how you perform a bird dog. Get into position, start on all fours with your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Keep your back slightly arched. Brace your core, tighten your core muscles. Reach and kick. Extend one arm forward and the opposite leg backward until they're both straight. Push your support hand into the floor to lift your upper back slightly. Hold and return. Hold for five seconds, then return to the starting position and switch sides. Keep your arms and legs parallel to your body to avoid arching your lower back. If the full bird dog is too challenging, start by just reaching with one arm, then progress to just the leg and finally do both. Now for the amount of reps we use Dr. McGill's descending pyramid approach. First set, eight reps per side. Second set, six reps per side. Final set, four reps per side. Over time, increase the hold duration at the top until you can hold each rep for about 10 seconds. By incorporating the bird dog into your routine, you'll improve your lower back stability and coordination, helping to prevent pain and enhance overall strength. Here's what I recommend. Research shows that you don't need a lot of lower back exercises to see significant strength improvements. In fact, even well-trained individuals saw a significant increase in lower back strength by adding just one lower back exercise one to two times per week. If you're already doing free weight squats and deadlift weekly, just add the following two exercises once per week for a few sets each and increase the weight as you get stronger. If you can't do heavy squats and deadlifts, you can do these exercises more often. By including these exercises in your routine, you'll significantly boost your lower back strength, reduce lower back pain, and prevent weaknesses or imbalances over time. Just make sure you're not neglecting other areas of your body as well. Well, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay flexing and glowing. Peace.